Hello YouTubers and welcome to another how to video. This video is going to be how to kilt. Um, so how to wear a kilt properly in a traditional Scottish dress. Um, I must firstly apologise for the screen being in portrait. Um, I need the length instead of the width and due to the size of the room I can't get <laughs> the height while using landscape so I'm afraid this video is mostly going to be in portrait. Um, for the bit where I'll be tying shoes and putting socks on, um, I'll probably have to change the camera. So I'll try and do that a bit in landscape just to appease you guys, okay? So, starting off, the first thing you need to do is get out of your normal day clothes. For reasons, because uh, YouTube will ban me or whatever if I go completely nude, um, I'll wear underwear for the first bit of this video um, until I get stuff on top of that. But for a traditional Scottish dress, you don't wear anything underneath, so you start with nothing on. Um, so this is the awkward bit, and I'm going to probably cut it until I, I'm undressed, so enjoy. <laughs> okay, so you're down into what you feel comfortable with. First thing you do is you don't put the kilt on, you put your shirt on first. Uh, it's much easier to tuck the shirt into the kilt if you have it on first, so we'll do that. Okay, so you've got your shirt on, next thing you do is you grab your kilt. So, this is a kilt, if people didn't know. So, pleats are on the back, and it's flat on the front. Um, I'll just unbuckle this. Okay, so your kilt opens wide out, and if you can see on this, the label here goes onto the base of your back here. And you wear your kilt up at your bottom rib, so it'll sit a bit higher up than your trousers. And if you've got a kilt that's tailored to yourself, um, the buckle will go into the third hole onto the strap. And that's no how you know your kilt's sitting properly. Okay, so you may have noticed I've lined up the line of my shirt with the line of the tartan that I have. Um, every tartan will have a line that's its centre line which runs down the middle of your body so from there to there should be a straight line and slightly off like that. Okay so next thing you want to do is then put your sparring on. I have a semi-dressed sparring so it's got a skin on the front and it's also leather. You can get three types. You have day wear, semi-dress and dress. This is semi-dress, as I said. A full dress one is a different shape, and you'd only wear that with a Bonnie Prince Charlie jacket. Uh, day wear is tend to be all leather, and so are just for normal everyday wear. Semi-dress is that little bit in the middle where you can be casual or inform or formal, not informal, formal. Yeah, you can be casual or formal with this. Okay, so what it is is it has two clips on either side and once you've adjusted it to what your waist size is that's fine you can then just unclip it here and put it through okay so what you do is you unclip it and then put it into your belt loops which are on the back one and two pull it through all the way around and clip it on sorry it's just got stuck so this will then sit about there, so your elbows are at a rough angle and down, sitting roughly over your crotch. Sorry for my language. Okay, so, you'd normally see people wearing a belt. Since I'm wearing a waistcoat, since I'm wearing a waistcoat, you don't need a belt. It covers where the belt would be anyway, so you don't need it. Um, if you're not wearing the waistcoat, you'd need a belt. It's just something to split your top half from the start of the kilt. So, waistcoat goes over the top, and buttons down. Okay, so your waistcoat covers the top of your kilt, so you can no longer see where the top of my kilt is, which is up here. And this then breaks the kilt up from the bottom half of your kilt to the top okay, half. Okay, so welcome to the socks and shoes part of this video. Uh, I've need to sit down to do this bit, so I've got it in landscape for you. Um, first off, you get your socks, and you pop them on. Socks are a bit longer than normal socks. And we'll sit up about your at about your knee. Uh, 
Okay. Next thing you'll do is get your ghillie brogues. And these are ghillie brogues here. So you'll notice the laces are really long, and that will show you that in a minute. And they're also leather and have holes in them, uh, just for decoration. So these slip on. So make sure your socks are in the right place for yourself. Okay, so how to tie a ghillie brogue. What you do, just take both ends of the laces, pull it tight, tighten it around your foot, and you're wanting to twist it round itself five times. So one, two, three, four, and five, and pull that down. This then makes it start about just above your ankle. This then goes round to the back, and you do the same thing at the back, and do it twice. One and two. Then bring it round to the front, but you don't tie it at the front, you tie it on the outside of your leg, so like a normal shoelace. Tighten that there, and do your normal loop, like so. If you're wanting it to stay on for uh, if you're dancing about or doing anything like that, just put a double knot into the loop, like so. This will then mean that your brogues will stay on all night and you won't need to retie them. I'll now demonstrate on the other one, just so you can get the hang of it. So, tighten, round itself five times. Down to the bottom. Then round to the back, and twice at the, at the back. Round to the front, and tie off at the side. and double knot. Okay, so what you may want to do is just pull your socks taut again just so there's no wrinkles down the sides. Okay, so you may now go, how do I keep my socks up? This is a pair of flashes and um, my ones match my kilts. You can get them in just a plain colour which would then match your tie which I would be putting on next. Um, ties and flashes tend to match your kilt, um, either the colour or a colour within it. Um, some people go for a background colour, like I could go for the dark green or a white. Um, but mine's red, so went for red. These sit on the outside of your leg and fasten with a bit of elastic. Your sock then folds over the bit of elastic to hide that, so you just see the flashes and pull your sock up to taut again. Then onto the other one, same thing again, onto the outside, round, these then fasten at the side. I'll come in a bit closer so you can see, this is a simple just loop and a hook, and it just slots in there, and it's that's that. This then, straighten up your flashes, sorry. This then sock folds over the top, and pull up. Socks should sit equally on each side, so I need to build my left, your right on the screen. So these should be equal on each side and your flashes should be in about the same place and you can line them up with a line on your socks. I'll now move on to putting on a tie and jacket. Okay, so you now have shoes and socks on. I'll now just put a tie on and I'll show you the jacket. So, I've kind of cheated for this bit. Kind of cheated for this bit. I've already tied my tie from an event I was at last week and I tend to just slip it over and tighten up. Uh, sorry if you don't know how to tie ties, I'm sure you could find it or I might do a how to tie a tie just for you people that don't know. And that then tucks down the back of the waistcoat and put your collar down. Something you may want to do is put the tail of the tie, so the thin bit, sorry I'll show you, this bit um, tucked down into your shirt just keeps it out of the way if you take your waistcoat off. Um, I sometimes do that, uh, but for this reason all you really need to do is tuck it down the back because the waistcoat hides it. Sorry. And there we are, we have our full kilt on and now for a jacket to go over the top. 
This here is an Argyle jacket. You can also have tweed jackets, a Crail jacket or a Bonnie Prince Charlie. Bonnie Prince Charlie has a higher up waist and so you need to wear the kilt higher up. With an Argyle you can leave your kilt a little bit lower than normal because it's a bit longer. So I'll pop that on so you can see. Okay, so jacket on and you should be able to just see the cuffs of your shirts from the sleeves. Cuffs like that. And you should be able to see them all the time, showing a little bit of cuff so it will be slightly off your wrist. Okay, so you now have your full kilt outfit on and ready to go. You can go out to Kayleigh's, weddings, uh, proms, several events, um, general Highland wear dress. Um, you'd normally not wear underwear underneath this, um, just for my sake and YouTube and you people watching at home probably don't want to see that. So, normally have it off, mines are on. Um, difference between ladies and men's kilts um, might just give you a wee bit of information there. Men's kilts are the seam is on the right and women's kilts are on the left. Um, I'm wearing a men's kilt obviously. And it's basically the same, it just folds the other way around for ladies if you're watching. Okay, final question you may ask me is what tartan do I have? I have the Scott tartan, it's nothing to do with my name or my second name. Uh, tartans are normally your mother's maiden name. Um, this is usually misunderstood as being your own surname. Um, some people go with that, some people don't. Um, if you're being traditional, you'd go with your mother's maiden name. Uh, it's a bit more relaxed nowadays and you can go with most things that you either like or if you want to be traditional, follow your mother's maiden name. Uh, that concludes this video. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this and I will be uploading sometime this week ranting on about Christmas because it's that time of year again, folks. Um, Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Tra!